Like many dirt riders, my interest in knee protection started with minor injuries to both my knees. And it doesn't take much. Watch this. I did my right knee with this simple dab on the ground here. Without braces, my leg was hyperextended and the impact had my knee swollen to twice its size within minutes and I was limping for the next two months. I did my left knee a year later when I flipped a bike and hyperextended the other leg when I jumped off the back. Again, a massive swelling, a few months of limping around and both knees did not fully recover for about two years. So, knee guards. Any dirt rider knows cheap, basic knee guards are an absolute minimum. If you disagree, try dropping quickly onto concrete with your knees. These knee guards need to drop into your boots to provide very basic protection against impacts to the knee and lower leg. Some knee guards have pivoting mechanisms and hinges, extra straps and look quite flash. But, like the cheap ones, all they are doing is protecting you from impacts. Most importantly, don't be fooled by manufacturers claiming their knee guards are knee braces. EVS is the main offender here with their budget range of knee supports. See our review here. So, knee guards only protect the knee from a direct impact from roost or landing on the ground. This is very important, but they don't protect you from hyperextension, twisting, and sudden jolts up through the lower leg. For off-road riders, we do know knee injuries are very common. A 2003 study of ISDE riders showed that injury to ligaments is the most common injury, with broken bones in second place. How does the knee get injured? A large study in 2011 suggested the most common cause is in cornering with the leg either getting twisted when we put a foot down or a sudden impact up through the leg when the foot touches the ground. The second cause, this is most likely influenced by a quarter of the riders in this study being motocross riders. It was landing from a jump and either the leg is hyperextended or a foot slips off the foot peg and rams the ground. The third cause was just called technical errors. I figured this would include impact or twisting of the leg when you lose your balance, the foot being twisted around in a rut, and the million and one ways your dirt bike or the terrain will try to hurt you. This same study, with more than 2,000 dirt riders, found that 43% of knee injuries were the ACL, the ligament that joins your upper and lower leg bones. 20% involved the meniscus, the cartilage that absorbs impact in your knee joint, and 15% to the MCL, a ligament that prevents sideways movement of the knee joint. So, do knee braces make a difference? Yes. The same study found that knee braces at least halve knee injuries for dirt riders and it suggested they have an even greater impact on the MCL, which is injured by twisting motions. The big question, should you get knee braces or just knee guards? Only you can make that decision. Do you have a job where you can keep working if you are on crutches for a few months? And what sort of riding are you into? How often do you crash? How aggressively do you ride? Personally, I think anyone into dirt riding should have knee braces. And even more so if you have a previous knee injury, you are over 40, or you crash reasonably often. And if money is no problem, simply get the best braces, the CTI Customs which are ultra comfortable and provide even more protection than your off-the-shelf knee braces. Finally, there's a lot you can do to reduce the risks of knee injury through your riding technique, bike mods and exercise. We cover this in another vid and it includes keeping fit, learning how to corner and jump properly, when to stand and sit on the bike, 
setting up your bike for your height and getting some decent foot pegs. Catch you later.